Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to give a brief introduction of how frictionless transactions work in 3ds 2.x. What does frictionless transactions mean? In traditional digital payment transactions done on a merchant app or a merchant website, we always know that there is a second factor authentication like OTP or out of band notifications also called as challenge requests in technical terms. This second factor is to ensure the transaction is a legitimate one. However, this has been a cause of concern for merchants or issuers as these transactions were being abandoned due to technical issues, resulting in volume losses. Thanks to 3ds 2.x, we have a solution where the challenge request can be skipped and the transactions can be decisioned without the challenge. These transactions are called as frictionless transactions, where there is no explicit second factor authentication or challenge performed. How is this possible? This is due to a feature called as risk-based authentication, where the issuers are able to take a decision and skip the challenge. This is primarily because 3ds 2.x protocol has a lot of data points being exchanged between the parties. And due to this, the issuer is able to take a decision to skip the second factor authentication. Some of the points that the issuer has at its disposal to take a decision to skip are device and browser fingerprint, past transaction behavior of the customer on the merchant and the transaction amounts, etc. The next topic I want to cover is how does the issuer gather this device and browser fing fingerprint information at the time of the transaction. So now I want to introduce you to a new concept called as a method URL. A method URL is like a script, say a JavaScript, which can be executed on the browser to collect the browser and the device information. Every issuer or ACS host this method URL and this ACSs provide their method URL information for every bin to the directory servers. So directory servers have the database of all the method URLs across for every single bin. So the 3DS servers, I mean generally the merchant uh, gateways, communicate with the directory server as a part of a message called as preparation request or PREC, where the 3DS servers request the method URL information and a bunch of other information too, which the ACS provides back to them. So as a part of this PREC and PRES, the 3DS servers cache the information of all the method URLs across the card ranges. So when a new transaction is being initiated from the 3DS client, when I say 3DS client, I am referring to the browser or the app from where the transaction is being initiated. The 3DS server provides the method URL information based on the card bin entered. So at the start of every transaction, when we enter the card number, depending on the card number, the card bin, the 3DS server retrieves the method URL and provides the method URL information to the 3DS client. And the 3DS client executes the script and provides the information back to the ACS issuer for every single transaction. I mean, obviously every single transaction has a transaction ID and for this transaction ID, it provides all the browser and the device information. So when the actual authentication requests come, the issuer has now this information to validate with the past transaction information and then say, hey, yes, this transaction is coming from the same device or browser from where the previous transaction has got initiated, etc. And now the issuer has the prerogative to take a decision to skip the second factor for the 3D secure transaction. So this is how the issuers now have more data points and then they can skip the challenge. So that comes to my end of this uh, frictionless transaction and how it works. Hope you learned something new from it. I would love to hear your feedback as comments. Thank you.